Folks, I'm pretty excited about it. We're about to run a trot line here at Lake Maw Mill, just west of Little Rock, Arkansas. And uh, there's a lot of bass fishermen. I'm one of them that fish this lake. And uh, most of those guys hate trot lines. If they ever hang on to it, they'll cut it. So with that in mind, you don't really ever want to put one tied up on a tree or some, some, somebody can see. So I've got it sank out here. And I'm going to have to pull it up to check it with my little hook here. Works great for reaching down and grabbing a trot line. It's 40-something degrees. The water's 40 in the low 40s. And wind chill is uh, blowing about 10 mile an hour. You take the degree of 40, uh, 2 degrees water, with, uh, 10 mile an hour wind. And considering all the factors involved, it feels like it's about 20 on your skid out here. When I'm traveling across the lake, you got to figure a 10 mile an hour wind going right into it at 40 mile an hour makes it a 50 mile an hour wind. And then you subtract what that feels like, and it's probably down to about 14 degree wind chill on you out there. Maybe zero. I'm not real sure. I just know it hurts when you're in it. Yes, sir. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Uh oh. Oh, hallelujah. It is on, boys. It is on. I feel something. Sure do. I feel me a little wiggle right out there, boys. Yes, sir. If it ain't a stinking grinnel like it was at the river, we're going to have our first deduction from 1,000 pounds. Hallelujah. Uh... I'm kind of kind of like a kid at Christmas. I want to tell you that's one thing I like about catfishing or fishing, period, not just catfishing. I don't care what kind of fishing it is. It's uh you get a little vibration. A little bit of vibration on the end of the pole. It's all a man's after. Brim, catfish, crappie, I don't care. Let's see what we got out here, boys and girls. Let's just see about it. It feels like a pretty good pull here. Yes, sir. The first blue of the 2020 season. Yes, sir. I'm excited. He weighs nine pounds and three ounces. Nine pounder, boys. Yes, sir. He been feeding too, look at that gut. Pretty, ain't he? We're gonna let our first cat of the 2020 season go and get back after him and see can't we catch some more. That is a uh, 1,000 pounds minus nine pound three ounce. Well, we got a ways to go yet, boys and girls, and, and we're gonna have a lot of fun getting there. He's coming back alive, let's let him go. There he goes, back to freedom. That's almost 10 pounds down. I can do that easy math. 989 and some odd ounces yet. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Yes, sir. It's a blast to catch a bass while I'm waiting on the catfish to clean. Yes, sir. That's a nice one. Okay. I'm going to show you the hooks I'm using. I really like these hooks right here. It's Eagle Claw. It's called Eagle Claw Laser Sharp Needle Point Circle Hook. 
It's an eight out. It's a big one. I get eagle claw because they're less expensive than most other eight alt hooks. And they work just as good, just as strong. I mean, that is a big hook. It's a circle hook, it's a little offset there. And uh, it's very sharp, very thick. I ain't a catfish in the world for that sake that'll break that hook. If you drag set right, a whale won't break it. He'll take all your line out and break all your line off, but he won't break that hook. So it's plenty big enough, sharp enough, and it'll work for any catfish. Some people will say, why use a, such a big hook ADOT? Well, I've caught some big catfish out of this lake over the years, and uh, I don't like using a little hook. You, you can catch a three pound catfish on that, and you can catch a 60 pound or a 80 pound if one hits. It's science. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I feel one, boys and girls. Yes, sir. And as old men do, I forget things. I forgot my net. <laughs> Feels like about an eight pounder. Oh, yeah. He'll keep. If I was to keep him, look at there, boys. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. He's got it, boys. He's got it. Ooh, he bit down on my thumb. He sure did. Oh! Mm. Oh! Come on, he's got a bite. I'm here to testify. <laughs> he sure bit down on it. Mm. All right, fella. He did some twisting now. Oh, stop biting me. I'm going to smash your brains in. I'm a man who discovered the wheel and built the Eiffel Tower out of metal and brawn. That's what kind of man I am. The wheel don't like being bit. Well, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Look at there, folks. That's a beautiful specimen right there. Look at the gut on that thing. Look at that. Get him weighed. Get a good close up of this thing. Pretty, ain't it? Yes, sir. That's prettier than I am. <laughs> he ain't in a talking mood. All right, folks. He weighs eight and a half pounds, dead on. Look at that gut on that fish. That fish been eating, been eating good too. I'm so excited about the 1,000 pound catfish challenge. I'm gonna reach it. All my friends and family tell me I'm not going to. I got a, uh, there ain't no way in Hades from one. I got a, a 5% from another and a less than 20 from another. I'm telling all of them, stay tuned, baby. Keep watching, because I'm gonna make that 1,000 pound catfish challenge in 2020. And if you'd like to take a guess when, take your best guess up till about March the 15th. By then, I'm gonna make a believer out of some of these folks who don't believe I'm gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Y'all stay tuned, come watch with us as we run a trot line on Trot Line Tuesday It'll be downloaded 4 o'clock every Tuesday, 4 p.m. Thanks for coming along for the ride. We're going to catch and release most of the fish this year. We'll have some fish fries every now and then. Go get bigger. Yes, sir. All right, folks. Now we've weighed in a 9-pound 3-ouncer, and we've weighed in an 8 
and a half pounder. You add those two numbers together, subtract them from 1,000, and you got... Do you want my head to explode? No more for today! Uh, you, you got a long ways to go till we get to 1,000, but we're getting there, boys. We're getting there. Hang in there. I might be feeling something here, boys. What for supper, Grandpa? That's the last hook out there, boys. Very last one. That's a pretty, pretty little channel cat. Yes, sir? Pretty one. You got anything to say to me today, boy? Needs to warm up some before they do much talking, apparently. That is a pretty little channel right there. Speckles on him, forked tail. You got anything to say to the YouTubers? No, sir? Okay, well, let's get him weighed and get him back in the water. Would be too nice for lays, wouldn't it? We're gonna clean some pretty soon, but not not just yet. We're gonna let this one go. Let's find out what he weighs. All right, stop you flopping. Here we go. Five and a half pounds, boys. Dead on five and a half. Yes, sir. All right, nice little addition to the eight and a half pounder. All right, big boy. Go tell your mama we're after her and your daddy. That's the most seagulls I've seen on Lake Mall Mill in years, boys. Hey folks, this is Gil Doombash. I appreciate you coming along for the ride on this episode one of our 1,000 pound catfish challenge. We ended up with three catfish. They total weight, all three combined, was 23 pound, eight ounce. Now you take 1,000 and you subtract 23 pound, eight ounce, and that'll leave you 976 pounds and eight ounces to go. Now I couldn't remember all that except they got me a cheat sheet down here. But uh, you get to a certain age, you gotta write stuff down. But anyway, we need 976 more pounds and eight ounces. We're gonna get there, folks. Uh, this week's 23 and a half pounds. We're gonna catch individual catfish way bigger than that this year. So keep coming back every Tuesday and we'll see how it goes. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. And may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs>